Hello everybody, this is Obi Jeff with Burr Crew Studio. Today I'm playing Stanley Parable. I've never played it. Pickle told me to. Um, apparently to my peril and your enjoyment. Um, I know nothing about this game. He sent it to me as a Steam gift and told me to play it and record myself the first time I was playing it. Uh, and we should have an entertaining show. So that's what I'm doing for you today. Uh, so here's the, the menu screen. Um, it's kind of cool as my mouse moves. It moves on the computer in the game. On the game computer, there's another screen capture, and you can just see it moving in the background, so it's pretty fun. Um, no idea what to do. Uh, so let me hop out of the options here, and it uh, looks like we're just going to begin the game. The end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Fun. All right, so um, no idea what's going to happen. Um, Pickle is chuckling a little bit. So I know that there's some sadistic goal reason he wanted me to do this, uh, but we'll find out. Um, so as we wait for this to load, uh, Burke Crew Studios, uh, we're a new channel, so we want you to go check it out. Uh, we have many games that we're starting to play. We're starting to put content up, so please subscribe. Uh, be on the lookout for any new material uh, or ridiculous attempts at games like I'm about to do. Um, so uh, we're going to have more stuff coming, so we really appreciate you watching and, re and would love if you subscribed. Um, so, this is quite a load time. I don't know what type of game this is. I don't know if it's a shooter, if I walk around, or if it's a top-down isometric, or if it's like an RPG. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh, there's a story. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Huh. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as okay. though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. So and apparently then one I work day, in an something office. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Apparently showed up but on Labor Day. as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, well, let's go explore the office. That was a, kind of a strange intro. Um, Nobody showed up to work. I got no orders. Um, not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing. But, uh... If I knew where my boss's office was, I'd go trash it right now. Um... I can't click. I don't know what I'm doing. There's some my paperwork. I got a pencil sharpener. I got a mug. Wonder if this is like a spin-off of like an office space story. All right, so there's four two nine. Can't open the door. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Too bad Stanley doesn't remember where the meeting room was. There we go. There's a meeting room. No, or not? It's a copy room. Huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Did I? Wonder what happens if I go this way. This was not the correct uh, way to the meeting room, and Close Stanley the door. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
Yeah, that's what I did. I need my coffee. It's too early. Alright, so... I don't know if I made a good choice or a bad choice. I could use a break. Doing nothing all day. There we go. That looks like a good... Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. <laughs> Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay. Buck twenty-five. Yes. Rip. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Um, lovely, lovely place. Um, I guess I gotta go... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. Should I do what he says this time? Uh, that, that doesn't look like the right way. What's over here? That doesn't look like the right way either. I'll go in here. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh, Stanley, I have a feeling that uh, we're going to go on an adventure because you're not going to do anything you're supposed to do. There's blood coming out of that can. I just got on the elevator next to it. Okay. Um, I still don't know what kind of game I'm playing. Uh, apparently it's a uh, a narrated office game. He didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. That's right. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um, uh, uh, from here it's um, left. All right, we're going left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. <laughs> All right. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh, great. I'm locked in a room while the narrator figures it out. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, I can't right. do anything either. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Get out before it closes it on me. Oh, can I drive the truck? Maybe it's going this way. Okay, so um, Stanley, wow, Stanley left his office. Nobody showed up to work. I took a wrong turn and ended up in some room with no, a bunch of numbers. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to get What back number to was I? Oh, I was who am I? Fired. It's all That's funny. now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. <laughs> um. Apparently I ruined the game. So I'm leaving my office. Let's, I guess... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the <laughs> meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. It's like choose your own adventure. Uh, and I just when died. Stan wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Or did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so last time I came in this room, I took the right door, and I should have taken the left. That seemed to not turn out so well, but at this point I don't think I'm supposed to go in the left door. I think I need to go somewhere else, and these chairs are blocking this door, which tells me there might be something interesting behind there. Um, this leads to a hallway. I would 
would imagine these two are connected, so these two go to the same place. Uh, do these two go to the same place? Yeah, those two look like they go to the same place. I'll too. say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was Apparently. a story here before. <laughs> do we just narrator thinks I suck? We start the game again. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> uh, apparently I I suck at walking through doors uh, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do gone. what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room perhaps he had simply missed a memo <laughs> uh, okay I'm not, it's no worse. Damn doors I might be remembering this wrong it's possible the story is back where we just came from why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I am confused. And this is why he wanted me to play on camera. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I'm coming through this door. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What? Now what? this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm... Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> Congratulations! That's how you beat the game, folks. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm lost. This game is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I have an adventure line. I want to follow the adventure right. line. It's like I've that got got commercial with the. This time, to make sure we don't get uh, lost, like car, I've employed the help the of the Stanley the car you want to buy. Adventure line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do this time. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Onward, no, Stanley. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably jump. conjured into being via the very <laughs> manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yes. Because that's light music. Wow. I feel like I'm Dorothy on the yellow brick road at this point. This is pretty loud. Not just that loud. The music. Yeah. Go back Thank you. And look at that fern. What? What fern? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. 
Uh, why do I feel like I'm being set up for something ridiculous? I okay, so I'll play along. Uh, this fern has a middle branch that has a, a few leaves missing. Um, I don't know how to tell a fern from another fern, so hopefully there's not too many. Uh, it's in a room by two blinds. That's about all I'm going to remember about this bad boy, if I even remember. Let's go back this way. All right. All right. Wait, what? we're back at the office? No, oh, no, no. Line, <laughs> you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? I really don't know what's going on. Pickle, thank you. I appreciate this, and I know you're laughing. Uh, I'm just going to follow the yellow brick road a little further down. Hopefully I re reach the house. Oh, I'm back at this no, stupid place. No, no, not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <sighs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say at this point. All right, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to follow the line. I'm going to study the you know fern. What, oh, I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. We're going this way now. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. <laughs> what do you want our story to be? I feel like I'm in an endless Go loop wild. here. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, oh, there we go. I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. <laughs> uh, it's like the maintenance crew got happy with the uh, paint can. Uh, let's see here. All right, here's the door. Oh, it's a round room with multiple doors. Ah, a choice. Yep. We get to make a, a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Yeah. Just walk in circles for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so I know that each opposite. door has to so lead somewhere. Which means that so essentially there's no right answer in this game at all. Go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. All right. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one.